Okay, when we first went to Tricy Elementary, uh, Mia went into kindergarten and she was in special education almost the entire day. We really didn't see any improvement at all. We're really wondering what we should be doing. We knew we couldn't just put Mia in the classroom and cross our fingers, so it was a collaborative effort with special education department, Mia's therapists, uh, the teachers, and her assistants. We all worked together to come up with a plan for Mia in the classroom, and it's worked amazing. She started half day in regular ed and has worked up to doing more time in regular ed. The progression has just been tremendous. We have seen growth with her peers and her acting. When we first started, it was a team collaboration. So it does take assistance from the assistant in the classroom, other staff members to build upon planning, working together to get those benefits. We have an aide in our classroom a lot of the times, but a majority of the time she can kind of step back and the other students will help me. Uh, inclusion at Tri-C Elementary is uh, something that we strive to do uh, at every grade level. We want uh, all of our students uh, to experience that family atmosphere. Uh, we want them to accept one another for who they are um, in all classrooms uh, school-wide, so uh, inclusion is a big part of what we do. So it was kind of scary for everybody thinking, how are we going to have Mia in the classroom? How are the kids going to react to her? Are they going to bully her? Are they going to accept her? But Tricy Elementary was willing to give it a shot. So we agreed to put her in half day general education and the other half in the resource room. And I can tell you it's been life changing for my daughter. When she talks, it, she says something funny and she makes me laugh. I am grateful for the friendship that Amelia and Mia have. It's unique to the two of them. She loves Mia just the way that she is. She doesn't want to change Mia and she doesn't try to change her. Mia never makes Amelia feel less than. She never leaves her out of a group. She's never going to make fun of her for what she wears or how she has her hair fixed. So what's changed with Mia? She has real friends now. Friends that help her in the classroom. Friends that are concerned about her. A teacher that believes in her. So much of our schools are focused on test scores and getting straight A's. And I don't think there's anything wrong with teaching kindness compassion and acceptance for people that are different. I think overall it makes the world a better place. It's very helpful to teach those other students um, acceptance and to realize that there are different people in the world or that there's people in the world that are different than they are and so that's something they're going to encounter for the rest of their life and so I think it's super important that they learn those skills now. I'm station partners with her and we always like talk to each I talk to Mia sometimes and we take turns doing different things. Um, I like having her in our, in our classroom. I love that she's like different than all of us. She's really fun. She's really nice and she gives hugs. It's really nice of her. No, we're just thrilled to have the opportunity to have any kid here, uh, regardless uh, of their strengths uh, or the hurdles that they may have to overcome. My daughter Mia is proof that inclusion benefits all children. Hi, my name is Stephanie Brown and I am the proud mother of Mason. He is eight years old and he is in the second grade at Unity Point. The purpose of doing these videos is to talk about the importance of inclusion and how we want to create a school that has a welcoming atmosphere, not just for Mason, who happens to be living with autism, but for all children. Having Mason in the classroom has been a huge learning experience for me 
and of course a huge learning experience for the kids. Mason has the gift of a mother that advocates very well for him. Mason's mother understands that there's some really important things like who is a good partner with Mason, who could travel with Mason on to second grade for that big transition from a different classroom to a new teacher. So we made sure that one of the students that came with him was someone who was very supportive of him. The goal here is to make sure that our general education classroom teachers are well equipped and that our students have the opportunity to learn from each other. He's funny and he plays with me a lot at recess. Well, he's nice to me and sometimes he can be very funny. He's a lot of friends. Everyone's nice to him. He always makes me laugh and he does funny things. It's not a disease. Really he's funny. Nice. Yeah, he's really funny. Yeah, funny. he's funny. The other piece of it that I think is also important is that we also trust our teachers. Um, and so we have um, teachers that, that believe in the inclusive model and find it to be really important um, and understand the benefit for all students. And so when you have that teacher buy-in, I think that that makes a huge difference. Um, so because our teachers have that, I think that that's another thing that really makes it work well. One of the great things about the inclusive classroom plan is that Mason is in our classroom for all instruction. He is held to the same standard as the other students. The only adjustment that's made for him and several others is that they might have an aide that works with them. Uh, they might need uh, additional small group teaching. If I pulled him out of the room and he was one-on-one -on -one or even in a smaller group, I don't think he'd be able to uh, benefit as much. The other thing that's been really great is what's good for Mason is often what's good for all the kids. So if there's something I'm doing for, for Mason in particular, what I've noticed is there are a bunch of kids in the classroom that also respond really well. Now other kids will see that and I can offer it to them too. So it normalizes. It isn't Mason gets this special stuff and he gets to use it. It's This stuff is for everybody. We're all in it together and we are doing what's best for kids.